guys welcome back to my channel today in today's video I'm going to be doing a review on the brand new releases from Anastasia Beverly Hills in this video I'll be doing some swatches as well as give you my thoughts on each and every product because I'm reviewing three products this time I will be including some timestamps so that if you are only here for one particular product you can fast forward and get to that particular spot if you guys are new here hi my name is Jenna thanks so much for popping by and checking my channel out today if you guys love makeup just as much as I do I'm sure we'd get along great so don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. You'll be a part of our little family as well as be notified when I post my next videos. Now that all that's out of the way, let's get on to the review. So the first product I'm going to be reviewing is the Soft Glam Palette. As you can see, the outer packaging is identical to her other eyeshadow palette releases. It has the soft suede plush looking cover that says Soft Glam on it. And on the inside, you have 14 shadows. There are nine matte shades in this palette as well as five shimmer shades. The shade names that we have in this Soft Glam palette are Tempera, Glistening, Orange Soda, Rose Pink, Sultry, Bronze, Mulberry, Dusty Rose, Fairy, Burnt Orange, Sienna, Rustic, Cypress Umber, and Noir. This product retails for 42 American dollars and it's only available on Anastasia's website right now. On March 6th, it will be available online at Beautylish, Sephora, and Macy's. And then March 10th is when it will be available in store. So I own the Modern Renaissance as well. When I compared between the two palettes, I did notice that there are three shades in the Modern Renaissance palette that are also in the Soft Glam. The three shades are the Bone Color Tempera, the burnt orange color, as well as the medium brown cypress umber. I know there was another palette recently that was launched called Subculture. I actually don't have it, so I can't compare how Soft Glam is to Subculture. What I can tell you is that in my opinion, the formula of the Soft Glam shadows are also identical to the Modern Renaissance shadows. I found when I was working with them, I didn't have any problems blending them or picking up pigment and the quality and longevity is fantastic. The only thing is there's definitely quite a bit of fallout, but that is very similar to Modern Renaissance and the Mario palette in my opinion. A helpful tip is to definitely do your eyes first when using these palettes and then applying your foundation and the rest of your face makeup. The look I'm wearing today is 100% Soft Glam palette and I actually applied all of this using the brush that it comes with and I really am impressed with that brush. The brush is the identical brush in the Mario palette as well as in the Modern Renaissance and I think that it's great because there's one side that's perfect for placing pigment and the other side is great for blending well as well as making sure there are no harsh lines. And I'm very happy with how it looked. I think that this is definitely a palette that is different enough from the Modern Renaissance as well as the Mario palette that you can justify a brand new palette purchase. So I also have the Mario collaboration with Anastasia. Unfortunately, you cannot get this anymore. Unlike other brands, Anastasia really means it when she says limited edition. <laughs> the difference between the Mario palette and the Soft Glam palette is that the Mario palette has 12 exclusive shades that are not duplicated in the Soft Glam whatsoever. They are not duplicated anywhere else as far as I understand, so it's definitely a very exclusive product. The Mario palette is a little bit better than the Soft Glam just with regards to blendability and pigmentation, but that is only me being nitpicky. This Soft Glam palette is definitely amazing and I absolutely think worth your money. The next product I'm going to review is the powder bronzer. As you guys can see, the outer packaging is gorgeous. It has the classic Anastasia Beverly Hills in a rose gold color with her emblem in the background. And when you flip it open, you'll have a palette sized mirror on the lid, which is perfect. We all like that. And then you see the bronzer pan itself. This bronzer retails for 28 American dollars and it is also only available on the Anastasia website right now. And these bronzers will be available starting March 6th in stores. So the shade that I got is Rich Amber. There are five other shades as well, but I only got the one that I thought would suit me best. So the Rich Amber is not the lightest, but it's second from the lightest shade. I'm actually wearing it today for you guys. I absolutely love this. I do think that this is incredibly pigmented. So when I put my brush in the first time, I got a crap ton of product right away. So just make sure you're using a light hand. I like that the tone of this bronzer has a slight red undertone. I think that that's natural looking because when you're out in the sun, you do tend to 
to have a slight burn under that tan sometimes, at least in my opinion, that's what happens to me. <laughs> it's definitely a natural matte finish, which I personally look for in a bronzer. So do I think you need this? Now, this is an interesting question. To me, I think this quality is fantastic. The blendability is great. It is definitely up there in quality next to my Give Me Sun by MAC or my Omega Bronzers by Marc Jacobs. So if you own those bronzers already, then you don't necessarily need this one. However, if you don't have those bronzers, you should definitely get this one because the price point is much lower than the ones I mentioned. So it's definitely worth checking out. The last product I'm going to be reviewing is the highly anticipated Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy collaboration. This is their highlighter and I believe this is just called highlighter because there's no name on the back of it. <laughs> As you can see, the outer packaging is gorgeous. There's beautiful stars around the front with Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy in a beautiful gold. When you open it up, just like the powder bronzers, you will see a palette size mirror on the lid, which is perfect. And then the gorgeous pan itself on the bottom. And the powder itself is super silky smooth to the touch. And the highlight itself is a beautiful gold that also has some elements of silver in it. This highlighter is available on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website for 28 American dollars. However, it will be available in stores sometime in March. The major claim this highlighter has is that there is absolutely no fallout. And when I was playing with this, that is absolutely correct. I was so amazed. When I dipped my brush in the pan, the first impression I had was that I don't think I'm picking up any product at all. I was absolutely shocked at how literally not one tiny flake came out of that pan. I'm actually wearing the highlighter today on my face and I absolutely love how it gives that gorgeous like glow from within look. I love how this highlight really doesn't emphasize emphasize any texture. It just glides on top of the skin so beautifully. Like, oh, I'm just so obsessed with this. Highlighters are definitely one of my favorite makeup products to play around with, and it really takes very little to justify buying another one. But the fact that this one is so high performing, so unique looking, like the wave and the formula, how there's no fallout. Oh, I just think you guys absolutely need it too. So those are my thoughts on these three new products from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I do think that all of these products are fantastic launches from them. I think they're all high quality, all definitely worth your money. Unfortunately, the downside of being a Canadian and ordering from their website is that everything is in American dollars. So just keep that in mind with conversion, as well as you do pay some duties when it crosses the border and gets to you. So for me, I did have to pay an extra $30 Canadian. So I just wanted to share that with my Canadian viewers because that is super important to factor in when you think about how much each product is going to cost you. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you are excited about any of these products if you've picked them up what you think of them I'm so curious to know if you guys like this video please let me know by giving it a thumbs up as well as don't forget to subscribe on your way out and until my next video guys take care happy shopping thanks for watching bye